All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. I hope you guys enjoyed that video last night. It's fun to get back into the firearms and doing what I do best, and that is one. And one of the gentlemen, sorry that it took me so long to get to the point. Secondly, yes, uh, time behind the gun, running, and things of that nature are going to help in the future at future events. You can have the best gun in the entire free world. If you can't shoot it worth a crap, well... There you go. All right, so uh, another thing I want to talk about is I'm going to be doing a review on this guy right here. This is a gas mask by the guys over there at Mira sent this out to the channel, and I apologize that it's taken me for actually ever to go ahead and do a review on it, but this is not going to be your simple review. I'm going to demonstrate the damn thing. So we're going to be using this irritant smoke test fit test kit right here and i built myself kind of like a pseudo gas chamber to set up in the freedom shack so this is gonna be a lot of fun a little bit more involved than your normal hey what do see me look at on this i gotta shave and the unfortunate part is they sent me one which means if shit goes down i'm gonna have to watch my kids and my wife and sit there and just ball or we could pick straws and just whoever else anyway all right so let's talk about this what are we talking about the new york attorney general sues manufacturer over magazine lock used in buffalo store masker this by the Associated Press, a guy named, or a woman, I don't know, may soon con. Their uh, pronouns are not in there. So anyway, let's, I noticed this has been out for a few days, okay? But it irked me in such a way that I really wanted to go ahead and do a video on this thing to illustrate my displeasure for this whole thing. Also, it really does paint a story about how ignorant these non-firearm related people are and what they think. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this real quickly. I'll put the link down, down below. New York Attorney General sued a gun accessory manufacturer Thursday for selling a lock. Okay, this is it. This is where I think things are going to run. A lock that can be easily removed to attach high capacity magazines, which are illegal in this state. Uh, no, they don't. And I've watched the videos on how easily they are to remove. Basically, no, you have to just take the entire mag magazine and disassemble it in an effort to actually remove it from the lower receiver. That's how the damn thing works. It doesn't, uh, it's not something that you can press, re reload it, reinsert. Is you have to disassemble the magazine to where you're left with just the shell or just the body of the mag inside the mag well take the spring and follower and floor plate off right all the guts come out we're actually going to take this uh, little safety tool that comes with the loader so we'll start with the uh with the mag pull uh p mag here and i've already got the uh, ma lock installed in my lower uh, magazines installed in the lower i can't get it out there's no button there's no spring in this um, assembly whatsoever so there's nothing i can do there's no button to push externally right i'd have to separate the upper and lower receiver and what you do is you just wedge that guy in there and then you just apply pressure and voila it slides right the white gun man who massacred 10 black shoppers and workers in a buffalo supermarket last year carried out the attack with a semi-automatic rifle he purchased legally but then modified so he could load it with illegal high capacity ammunition magazines well, shit, you don't need this little mag thing from uh, Mean Arms to do that. You could just get a freaking mag release and throw it in there and be done with it. So I'm not sure what the hell they're talking about, okay? Uh, maybe the MA loader, which is another item that they sell, but that loads 10 rounds at a time, okay? And it's a thing that you push from the side. See video now. Thank you. All right, so uh, I just want to, I'm going to put the link down to these guys' uh, YouTube channel so you can see them down below. Uh, New York law bans possession of magazines that hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition. We lost 10 innocent lives because a hate-fueled individual was able to make an AR-15 even deadlier. Uh, okay, he was a hate individual, but not because he cannot... Okay, so I don't want, I'd like to see the firearm. I'd like to see the example of what he used and I want to see how it worked. Uh, through a simple change at home, Attorney General Letitia James, an elected Democrat, of course she is, said in a statement, we cannot undo the devastating harm that was done, but this lawsuit against mean arms 
is part of our ongoing effort to pursue justice for 10 innocent lives that were unjustly taken. Okay, so there is a little bit to be said there because there's this little thing called Protection of Law for Commerce in Arms Act, okay, that was established by the 109th Congress in 2005. And basically what it says, uh, this is an act to prohibit civil liability actions from being brought or continued against manufacturers, distributors, dealers, or importers of firearms ammunition for being enacted by Senate and the House of Representatives. Okay, so what this does is it protects firearm companies from an individual who takes legally purchases that firearm, okay? Uh, also, you know, dealers, importers, firearm distributors, ammunition, manufacturers, everybody. If somebody takes that firearm, all right, or illegally takes the damn firearm, everything, murder's already illegal, if I'm not mistaken. But in any case, somebody could take that firearm out and do evil. Well, that family is going to sue, or they're going to get a lawyer, and they're going to find out who, what, when, where, how they can sue somebody in an effort to make money. The lawyers are the only people to give a shit about themselves. They could care less about the victims or the victim's family or anybody else. You can see it in this effort right here. They don't even know what the hell they're talking about. But if you can imagine if this we didn't have this type of protection in the industry that we live in, uh, everybody would be getting sued left and right. Lawyers, lawyers, lawyers. Sorry about that. Uh, so anyway, yes, the uh, Protection of Lawful Commerce Act uh, protects those individuals, these companies from this stupid and uh, I would say ridiculous lawsuit. Uh, let's continue talking. Email messages seeking comment from Woodstock, Georgia-based mean arms were not immediately returned. Hell, I wouldn't talk to these idiots. You're just incriminating yourself with anything you say. Terry Connors, a lawyer who represents several families of the Buffalo Massacre. This is even better. Watch. Listen. As well as two people severely injured and welcome to claims made by the Attorney General. Claims we are all investigating as well, Connor said in email. Our goal is to hold all responsible for the horrific massacre at the Tops Market. The person responsible for that massacre is the guy who did the shooting. Not the firearm, not the ammo, not whatever means he used to load that magazine even further. The claims by the Attorney blah, 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 blah. All right, so Mean Arms deceptively, deceptively advertised that installing a device that locks a magazine on an assault weapon, or I'll just say an AR-15 platform makes it legal under New York law, the lawsuit alleges. But since the lock can be easily removed, no, the lock cannot be easily removed. You have to use a reverse thread screw attachment in order to get it out of there. And once you remove it, it's, it's destroyed, okay? Oh, my God. Uh, so detachables can be inserted. The manufacturer aided the illegal possession of assault weapons. And how, how, how? Holy smokes, this is just the biggest bunch of crap I've ever heard in my entire life. Removing the lock enables shooters to fire rounds without having to pause to reload as often. Removing the lock. You can't remove the lock, according to James' office. This may, this video may help them out and eliminate any additional cost on fraudulent or frivolous lawsuits. Through a lawsuit filed in the state's trial level court, James seeks to stop mean arms from doing business in New York. I think they got a thing on there right now. We ain't shipping to New York. Required to pay civil penalties and damages for practices of violence. This is absolute BS. The lawsuit is part of James' wider effort to crack down on gun violence. Oh, that's way. How about take the son of a bitches that are shooting everybody and put them in jail, Letitia, and keep them there? How about that instead of, oh, these poor little bastards, they don't have any cash, no cash bail, let them go. Jesus, Louise Almighty. After then, the 18-year-old gunman carried, well, I'm not going to go into that whole thing. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is fact. You saw the videos, what's going on. I don't know exactly what they're talking about. If you know of what they're talking about, please let me know because I watched the videos on how to install this thing, how hard it is to remove, the ease of removing magazines during uh, your practice shooting session. Absolutely ridiculous. So with that being said, uh, yeah, guys, KB32, let me know what your thoughts are down below. These guys have done nothing wrong. But here's the deal. If you're a firearm manufacturer and you're doing anything that uh, goes against the, the grain, they're coming after everybody, as you've seen with the auto key card deal. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> that's it. KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this uh, this gas thing. It reminds me of the good old days. 
in the military. I used to run around when we did the uh, CS, when we did uh, testing, or what do you call it, qualification, or go in there. I got run around in a pair of shorts, and you get used to it after a while. It just clears the nasal passages really good. KB32, in the infamous words of a real Cobra burnout, I'm out of here. Boom. Oh, yeah.